there's lots of different ideas going on in the show. Um, there's obviously there's, there's caravans and tents and there's skeletons. Um, so there's lots lots of different ideas. But what I'll what I've tried to do is try to connect them all together. Um, and the way that the way that actually they all they all came together was um, from my residency that I took up in um, in at St Vincent's Hospital in 2000 early this year 2010. And when I was working at the hospital, I started to get these ideas about um, the, the the journey to the studio and from the studio. So as well as being at the studio, but the actual process of work, of going from the studio to your home and back to the studio. Um, and during that journey, I started to come across um, I. Uh, Images, you know, images of um, the the tree at night over there, the tree at the in the cemetery, um, and also there's uh, images coming from um, surfing trips that I did previous um, when I when I used to do a bit of surfing. I don't get much time to do any surfing now, but when I used to do a bit of surfing, there's some, some pictures from the surfing trips, the caravan, the tent, um, and also then the skeleton came into it, and how the skeleton came about was. The, at the hospital, I, where my um, where my uh, space is, is right beside the storeroom. It's an it's an actual it's actually an unused part of the hospital, and the in the in the storeroom there's lots of unused medical supplies, wheelchairs, beds, um, and skeletons, which are used for training purposes for the nurses, um, nurses and doctors, of course, um, and I was. It was quite interesting because I, when I came out of the studio one night, I saw this skeleton just sitting in the in the room opposite. And being in the hospital and seeing a skeleton there is is something um, a little bit almost disturbing, I guess, about it. Because here we are in inside a hospital where people are mending themselves, and yet there's this replica skeleton, plastic skeleton sitting there reminding us of our own mortality and it's, it's, um, it's very interesting so that's why I started to paint the skeleton. This little series here uh, came about once again from painting the, the skeleton in the, in the hospital um, and here we have the, the skulls by themselves um, and then it led on to the abstract work which has kind of figurative elements within the abstract work and with the with the abstract work, I, for me, I, you know, I'm, I'm interested in paint, and I'm interested in paint on canvas. I'm just interested in paint on the surface. And so, abstraction or or realism painting, uh, representative painting, is fairly similar to me. You know, it's, it's there's there's not that much difference. I mean, you've got all those formal elements of composition and and um, you know negative positive space all these things that work within within the picture um, but here we have ab abstraction um, which is, is built up you know this abstract painting is built up from layers of, of paints uh, on top of each other starting off with sometimes quite bright bases and working back into the greys and rubbing and sanding back surfaces and then and, and just building up those surfaces in oils Cool. And I'm going to